Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, which is episode 19, I'm going to be carrying on sorting out the side door, welding a strip onto the bottom of it and getting it fitted. Sandwich a thin piece in between them, hammer them flat, and then weld them onto the edge, leading edge of the bottom of the door. refit it and see how it all lines up.
it seems to be fitting a lot better now. I've got a nice small gap along the bottom of the door. Um, nice gap all the way around here. Um, and when it's pushed in, it's nice and flush around there and around here. I need to do a bit more work in the middle here to get this to tuck in a bit more than it is now. But on the whole, I think that's really nice. It's okay. I've got a bit of a problem here where the runner that the wheel sits on towards the end has worn and it's got a dip in it, which means that the latch here doesn't catch properly unless I lift the door up. So I'm, I think I'll weld the piece a bit put some weld on this runner to lift it back up to the right height and then grind it off. But I'll do that afterwards, after the door's off.
but I'm happy now with this door. I think all the metalwork is finished. I'm happy with all the gaps and the shut lines and the contour of it, etc. So the next thing to do is to prepare it for paint. So that's going to be the next job. grit um, sandpaper to give the filler as good a um, adherence as possible. The body filler I'm going to be using is this, it's a UPOL product, it's called Fantastic um, Body Filler and it's uh, lightweight and easy to sand, I've used it before and it's really good stuff.
this dry, I'm going to kick off by sanding with a long block with 60 grit on it just to um, see how level I've got it because the door should be flat across this plane, the curve is in this way. So I just want to make sure that I haven't got any real low spots along um, this, this area of filler. with block sander I can see that I've got a low spot in this area and a low spot in this area. Um, I think I'm going to end up using a bit more filler than I would like to. I'm probably going to end up with about three millimeters of filler in this area whereas normally I don't know I mean I'm no expert on this but I'd have thought normally you're looking at one to two millimeters is the ideal amount maximum. But, you know, this top part of the panel of the door was quite badly warped um, with previous repairs and had a, a lot of filler on. Um, I'm going to end up with less filler than it had, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, you know, as far as I can see, as long as you use filler correctly and you lay it down on nice, clean, fresh metal, um, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to put some more filler in these areas to try and level it out and then I'll carry on with the block sanding. sand it with some 80 grit. Right, well that's uh, that bit of block sanding done. I've got a few low spots, one there, one there, another one here, and something there. But, you know, very, very minor. So what I want to do now is I want to do the same 
to the tailgate and then put a, another very very light, very light skim of filler over this area to get it perfect then when I've done that I want to do the bottom half but I'm going to block sand the tailgate with 80 grit first
I think now I've got the side door and rear hatch um, pretty well levelled out. Um, it's been a lot of work. It's taken me two full days of sanding to get it to this point and uh, the next step now is to put a coat of dolphin glaze over the whole area on both doors. Um, for, for, for those of you who don't know dolphin glaze is just like it's a much finer body filler it's much thinner you put it on in a really thin layer and it fills all the scratches and small um, um, marks etc in the body filler so that's going to be my next job to dry I'm going to block sand it with 180 grit paper but before I do that I'm going to go over it with a guide coat just so that I can see you know where what I've sanded and what I haven't
now that I've sanded 95% um, 90, of the um, golfing glaze off, it's left me with a couple of low spots. There's just a few marks, nothing major. So what I'm going to do, same as on the um, rear hatch, so what I'm going to do now is mix a little bit more dolphin glaze up and just touch up these areas, give, them a, give it the final sand um, and then it's ready for first coat of filler primer.
thing. Um, I'm going to leave it overnight to dry before I start block sanding it, but that's going to be in the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.